everyone, it's Susie. Let me see if I can get a little bit more in frame here. Uh, I've got some little paper bag goodies here I want to share. Um, I bought these really large merchandise bags. They look like this. I uh, purchased them at a sale a couple weeks ago. And uh, for the simple fact that I knew I was going to make a paper bag out of a bag album out of them. So um, anyway, this is what I've come up with so far. I made two Halloween, and then I made this really fun, really chunky. I guess you would call it a journal. I'm not sure what you'd call it. But this one was really fun, but it took me a little while to get it together. But I'm going to show the Halloween ones first. So anyway, uh, this is just using a Tim Holtz paper here. Um, I did not look to see what the collection was called. It's an older one. I've had it around for a while. So anyway, all I did was just kind of take the paper bag and fold up to make these pockets. And then I stitched them down instead of gluing them. Um, this is the one side and then this is the other. So uh, but anyway, uh, here I did leave this open on this particular one, and I just stitched around this skeleton a uh, little place to journal about your little book. Now, I am going to have all three of these put in it in my Etsy shop today, so uh, if you're interested. But I left enough room for a photo here, or photos up here, and then I just made these little little flip books here for a photo. You put a photo on the back and a photo in the on the inside. And all I did, I made these all the same and all I did was just cover my little uh, tab there which is just seam binding with another little piece from the from the collection. So, and all of the little books here are the same. And then here is the same. Like I said, these are all just basically the same. They just fit in the pocket. And then, of course, you know, I, I added poison, and this one is not to be taken. Uh, and anyway, there's room for photo on all of those there and here. So there is what that looks like. And then I just kind of, when I opened them, I did them kind of as a book like that. And then I just flipped it over and just opened up the back. But I, what I did here is I left room for photos. And I just made this band, which I stitched in the, in the seam, in the fold there of the, of the bag. And then I just made a little journaling. Just little journaling paper there. Stitched it together. And that just sets in there. But anyway, I, I just, I really had fun making these. Uh, that's that one. And then this one here was an Echo Park uh, paper collection. Don't remember the name of it either. I should have wrote that down. I didn't come very prepared. But uh, anyway, and this is an older collection here too. Uh, this one here I think I actually picked up a Tuesday morning. So um, anyway, this is the front. And this one actually has the little... Thing stitched down so uh, but anyway it has the pockets on this one I just gathered some of the sticker words there have the room for the photos there made a little a little book a little journal book there and I did just stitch the the sheets of paper in but anyway there's a little book that will set in that pocket use that this here actually came off the sticker sheet there and it'll just set in the in the pocket. And then this one I've just made two tags out of the paper. So that you could put some photos. And of course photos right there. And I just kind of staggered them there. And then same way here is the two tags. I just made them both the same. Got some of the words trick or treat. And then a place for photos right here and here. And then here on the on the pocket and uh, then I've got the little Halloween there 
a little sticker here and then another little booklet Queen of Halloween same way I've just I have just uh, stitched the paper in and I didn't have really any Halloween stamps uh, without having to dig for them but I, I thought it would have been a cute to stamp some little spiders or something in there but anyway there is that and then on the back I have a tag and then I used sticker sheet there to put a little just some little journaling paper there and there is the tag it says 31 days of spooks and then this just I made that same kind of little tab here as I did in the other little book with the seam binding and then here is just from the sticker sheet right here I've just put that on I thought that was really cute with the owl and the tree and then here is the another little tag there and of course another little booklet there that I just gathered some scraps of paper and then this one is 31 for October 31st and anyway there is my little uh, my little uh, Halloween books there and it just they're just kind of accordion they're so cute they were really fun fun to make there but anyway there is there is that one now this one here I just had a ball this here was absolutely fun and I am gonna make some more of these but I but they take a little time to make to, I mean when you're trying to uh, put it together it takes some thought how you want to how you want to put it together so uh, anyway but this one here I've got this uh, pink sari silk that I wrapped it in I got this from Hope Amen um, uh, Junk Journal Junkies uh, boutique where they can sell their stuff I bought a little bit of the pink sari silk from her and uh, I've added it in the uh, book here but these are just images from Pinterest and I use some uh, crocheted lace. I actually got this at Michael's, this crocheted lace. This is some of my uh, vintage find there, yard selling. Um, and then here in the front, I added the little, the little uh, piece of uh, coffee dyed paper. And my hands are really stained. I actually had to dye some more paper last night because I was completely out. Uh, when you open it, I, I don't know if you guys watch uh, Sagita Coffee Stains, but I love her work. She inspires me. Well, there's lots of people on YouTube that inspire me, but Sagita, uh, Sagita Coffee Stains, I'm going to put her link in the description box. box. Um, she just layers and stitches, and, and I love the way her albums or journals look. I love the look of them. So uh, when I went to do this, this is what I tried to do with this, was her style of, of layering and stitching because I just love it. So uh, anyway, I used the black thread, which she does a lot. She uses a lot of the dark thread. Uh, this isn't black black, but it's that raisin that's nearly black. So uh, anyway... I've just used some book page and layered some um, crocheted lace. Here's a book page with some coffee stained paper. I made this little, just the little booklet here for journaling. I made it skinny and tall so that it would uh, fit on the, uh, fit on the, or in the uh, pocket. But anyway, and I just did some stitching. Now I couldn't get real fat and sew uh, laces and things in here because it would have been too too uh, thick to go in the pocket. So I had to really just kind of uh, just do the stitching on the inside. But I did add a couple of the fabric tabs on there. And then this here I actually sewed in the fold of the paper bag. And this is just varied size papers. This is another thing that the last video I watched of Sagita's, um, she had just done a journal by ripping the pages and making them all different um, um, sizes and widths. And I really loved it. So this is kind of what inspired me to do this. 
I did keep it the vintage bicycles in this as the theme, but, uh, and I did do a little decoupage there, this little decoupage napkin there. But uh, anyway, that is just sewn in the, in the spine. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then uh, here is just some layering, some fabric, and then here is a doily that I've just uh, stuck down and I just stitched a photo around it. Here's another little image. Here's the back side. This is just a library card. This I just backed with some um, um, ledger paper that I had. And then it just sets in this pocket right here. And then here is some uh, fabric. This is actually just some wired ribbon, which I took the wire out of and that I got at Michael's and just used it. I love the shabby chic look of that. I did stitch some of the crocheted lace there. It does flip up, so you could kind of journal here or put a picture or something there. I've got a, cu a couple of really coffee-stained tags, and I just left them. I didn't cover the back in anything, but anyway, just the vintage bicycles. And then here I've just used some coffee-stained paper, layered some book page there, and... Uh, I really like this book. I like how it turned out. I um, here is another little stitched on booklet there. It's just stitched in the spine. And then it has the layering also with the stitching on it with just some book uh, papers there, various papers. Here's some more napkin decoupage there. And then uh, here is another little booklet I made that sits in this pocket. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have just layered some uh, paper there and uh, some of my crocheted lace there. And then here's a little booklet that I've made and I just layered on the front. And then it, I didn't put uh, any laces or anything on the inside of it. It's just book page for journaling. And then here is the back, and I didn't put anything on the back of this one. I just left it to be flat. But then you open it up here, and I've got a little tuck spot. I've got some of this really sheer gathered fabric there. Well, it's not fabric. It's ribbon. And then here is just a little journaling, a little journaling spot there, and it just tucks. And then here is another pretty little bicycle with some lilac in it. Uh, so that, yeah, lilacs. I was trying to think. I used to have a lilac bush. My mother loved lilacs. And after I said that, I thought, well, is that for sure what that is? But it is. Those are lilacs. And uh, it has a, this is just a bag that I have sewn also in the spine there. And then I've added a little butterfly just a little die cut there. I got them at Michael's a long time ago. And then here is just spots for journaling there. I just thought the butterfly looked cute on the uh, pages there like that. You can kind of see the butterfly through it. And it just sets in your little, your little bag there. And then here I've got just a book page sewed on. Here's a little library card there. And these are my, uh, I uh, rusted those not too long ago. These little paper clips. Here's another little garden page with an old ladder. I like to decorate with the old ladders outside. Uh, this isn't mine, but it's just a Pinterest image. And then here's another one of the butterflies and a couple of really cute images of the bicycles there. And I've just stitched around them. Let me get this back together here. And then it just sits in the pocket. And here I've also just kind of took a little seam binding and tried to make a little a circle there to kind of remind you of a flower. Here is the back side with some more of that sheer uh, gathered ribbon there and then here I've just got a belly band that I have made 
and I have attached these little wildflower seeds. I actually picked these up. I was at a little place, um, a little antique place yesterday uh, called Wildflower. And anyway, these were free. She give, So I grabbed a couple of them. Uh, she just gives them away with the purchase that you make. So anyway, I thought that was cute. I put that in there. And then anyway, that is, this is kind of what the album looks like there. And how cute is that? And then uh, when you flip it over, this is just kind of what it, what it looks like here. But anyway, this one was a lot of fun. I will be making some more of these. I, I've really had a good time making this. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off here before my battery dies again. But anyway, um, I have got the tutorial coming up. Uh, when my battery's charged, I'm going to do the tutorial on the magazine journal. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.